A hot and sunny Sunday afternoon in New Hampshire as we close out the long holiday weekend. Temperatures quickly rising through the 80s and we're heading for the low 90s in interior southern New Hampshire. If you're looking for some relief, may I suggest a trip to the beach today? Mid 80s in Portsmouth and even a bit cooler than that later on. There is certainly some risk that comes with the heat today, especially for folks who have to be outdoors without access to cooling or water. This is especially true for southern parts of New Hampshire. Just common sense things here. Take it easy if you have to be outdoors today. Would be nice to dip in the lake before heading home from the long holiday weekend. Temperature in the lakes region up near 90 this afternoon. The water temperature in the low 70s. So nice and comfortable on a hot day like today, but bring plenty of sunscreen. The UV index running at a 7. Hikers up in the White Mountains can expect scattered clouds. Trailhead temperature is nice and mild, but summits in the 60s. There probably will be some areas of thick mud after the heavy rain and thunderstorms we saw yesterday. All right, the temperatures, they stay hot through Monday and Tuesday. Look for readings in the 90s. We're looking at a short heat wave here in New Hampshire before finally cooling down late week. Now, later today, you will notice a little dip in the humidity. That will be pleasant, though it will be hot and sunny at the same time. But just as quickly as the humidity dips this afternoon, uh, it will start to quickly go back up for Monday, Tuesday, and beyond and we are back to oppressive humidity levels by late week. Partly cloudy tonight, humid again, areas of fog developing, temperatures mainly in the 60s overnight. Tomorrow morning, well, it's comfortable, 60s and 70s with some sun, but then we're back in the low 90s by the afternoon. Tuesday, not as much sun, and there's another round of some showers and thunderstorms that will be moving in midday and through the afternoon. More thunderstorms scattered about Wednesday and Thursday. It'll take some time, but by late week and the start of next weekend, we'll finally get a break from the high humidity.